Scotty. Scotty, how you feeling, man? I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, like I said before in your program, before the, I am not a, a Sanders supporter. I do think that he, in a sense, did play the role of sheepdog, but I'm not going to sit back and like others and not act like his candidacy didn't raise a lot of hope for the left and didn't actually open the window to possibilities that weren't there before. Interesting. And yeah. you know what? And, and this is where I do differ from Black uh, a general report on counterpunch like outfits like that where instead of uh, building on the like the momentum of the Sanders campaign, they basically trashed him and his supporters. And it's like, mm. you know, I understand that you're taking the principal position, but it comes to a point where you got to see what's right in front of you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how long are you going to keep telling people to get involved in activism? Oh, and by the way, well, another thing is you can vote for the Green Party. The Green Party hasn't been involved in these communities uh, mm. that well. So, yep. and it's like, it's bad enough they're getting it from the Hillary supporters and, and the was, media that they're being treated like shit, but when they're being heard by respected people on the left, that yeah. hurts. But you, you know, know what? Uh, what's interesting, Scotty, is that you you prefaced all this by saying that you're not, you weren't a Bernie Sanders supporter but I just heard you give one of the best arguments in support of uh, the success of his campaign, despite the fact that he just conceded. I mean, you said a mouthful, but you're not a you weren't a Bernie Sanders supporter. Unpack that a little bit for me real quick. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like I said, I do think that his role was to keep the disaffected liberals from leaving the uh, Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. The problem, though, is that. And this is the same thing I saw with uh, Occupy Wall Street, where instead of taking the momentum of Occupy Wall Street, yeah. they criticize them for not having demands. Well, uh, in case you're wondering about you know, the stuff that's going on right now in Baton Rouge in Minnesota, power doesn't give a damn about your demands. Mm. So, yeah. you know, you can just take, you know, take that and take the, um, the opportunity that you have and just use it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, appreciate the call, man. Yeah, uh, shout out to the Sanders supporters. Uh, you know, just if you want to vote for Jill Stein, if you want to sit home, hey, I'm not going to judge you. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, Most definitely. Thanks for the call, man. We always appreciate your input.